Well, today we're going to take a little tour of Viejo San Juan or Old San Juan. We've got a little tour supposedly at the uh, La, La Fortaleza. There it is in the distance. It's our uh, first, uh, first glimpse of the La Fortaleza. So we head on down there. So this uh, street up here has become famous recently. And they started uh, hanging different displays, different decorations over the street. And it's actually really, really gorgeous. So I guess probably better at night here since this is all lit up rather than what it is here. All right, let me see if I can get in. All right, I successfully uh, passed the, the checkpoint there. My name is on the list. And now they told me to go into the, uh, the yellow house here. It's the longest Christmas in the world. I uh, put on a light show, five doing performances. Wow, nice. All right, and here it is. Got old pictures of the Fortaleza here. Pictures and it looks like pictures of the governor and the governor's wife. Once the tour started, recording was not permitted. The guide started with a little history of La Fortaleza or fortress, which is located in Viejo or Old San Juan. It is currently the residence and office of the governor of Puerto Rico. It was built between 1533 and 1540. It is the oldest executive mansion in continuous use in the New World and is listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. It was originally built to defend the harbor of San Juan, but its location is not the best for that, and the construction of El Moro, which began in 1539, was better situated for that purpose, as you can see in some of the pictures. The initial group tour that I was on consisted of walking through the gardens and looking at the original architecture for its original task of protecting the harbor. Note that we were always accompanied by a member of the security detail. Well, the tour was uh, was interesting, although a little disappointing. Thought we at least get to go inside, uh, but uh, normally you do have the opportunity to go inside a little bit. But there was already uh, I don't know some some uh, some functions, some other people there, so they wouldn't allow us on, on inside. 
You know, the first floor back there you know, is uh, office space. The second floor is the governor's uh, office area. And the third floor is uh, the governor's uh, living quarters. But, um, you know, it was interesting. So 45 minutes, we took a, took a little walk around the grounds. But, uh, you know, you uh, just definitely, definitely a little, a little disappointed that uh, didn't get inside. But, uh, you, know, you do, the governor is not on the island. The uh, tours do allow you, you know, to go in and uh, take a look briefly at the second floor office space. But didn't happen today, so like I said, a little disappointing. Well, after I left my tour, um, they, about uh, 10 minutes later, I got a call from the, uh, the tourist office at the Fort Elisa, and uh, they said, hey, we understand you want to really see the inside. And I said, yes, I do. And uh, they said, well, if you come back in about an hour, we'll give you a tour. So I did. My second tour was essentially a private tour, just me and the tour guide. Since I got up at 5 a.m. and drove two and a half hours to make my original 9 a.m. tour, I was glad they gave me the second chance or the opportunity to experience the inside of La Fortaleza.
longer disappointed. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, super, I'm super happy with uh, the trip I took up here today to uh, go into the Hotel Oasis, something I've never done before.